Good day, it's David here from In O'Clock Systems again, just with a slightly more musical example of the um, new Sync Gen 2 LS that we're about to release. As you can see, I've just started Ableton Live. This time I've got some um, audio tracks that I've previously recorded. I've kept it fairly lean so you can hear what's going on in the modular. And the gated vocoder pad is basically all that's playing and that uh, open metallic hat. As you can see there, there's the Sync Gen 2 to LS module that's um, firing all the rhythmic triggers uh, in time with Ableton um, and as you can see there there's a slightly more expanded patch using um, some beautiful tip-top um, 808 modules kick snare and hat sitting right in there and also the tip-top Z8000 which is doing filtering um, over some synth parts some Swayman VCEGs and also some complex transient generators for some envelopes and also some uh, Analogix ACS 16 step voltage sequences and I'm just going to pan back over to the mixer, it's an analog mixer and I'm just going to fade up the synth part again so this is being triggered by the SyncGen 2 LS module driving the 16 step sequences and in turn driving the VCEGs and the VCA and as you can hear there that's the 16th part bubbling away over the filter is the Z8000 in stereo two sides over two filters again being clocked by the SyncGen 2 LS as you can hear now I'm just fading up the four on the floor tip top 808 kick drum that's been triggered directly from the SyncGen 2 LS modules in quarters and as you can hear now I'm fading up some of the tip top 808 hats again being driven directly from the open hats are being driven directly from the SyncGen 2 LS module quarters inverted so you get the off hat 16th are being driven by the step sequences and I'm just bringing up the snare there and just balancing bringing up a little bit more of the synth level and bringing up the kick a little bit more just so you can hear that so again you can hear this is um, all the external analog triggered modules are being synchronized perfectly with whatever host door Ableton Cubase Pro Tools doesn't matter um, I've, there's no there's no latency there's no offset that's just absolutely straight there's no swing of course you can swing the plug-in which means it swings all the trigger outputs in perfect time with the Ableton grid um, does the same thing for MIDI clock and DIN sync as well just panning back there showing you the sequences running in time um, obviously you can use the outputs from the sync gen 2 LS in any way you want they don't have to fire sequences they can fire envelope generators um, direct synth VCAs on their own and there's me just panning back to the sync gen 2 plugin I'll post some more videos soon thanks for watching again see ya